Hey guys, so I would like to really really apologize because there is some static in this audio and I tried fixing it for a very long time and I'm not able to do so. So yeah, I'm sorry about the bad audio quality. It is terrible match. Like look at this. I look like Casper. Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be testing out a bunch of newly launched products from Wet n Wild. Now I have picked out only three of them and the first one is their Brow Obsessive Brow Shaping Gel. It comes only in one shade which is brown and that's what I have. And then is this beautiful eyeshadow palette which is their Color Icon 10 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. They have changed the packaging by the way and this one is called Call Me Sunshine which looks super pretty. And the last one that I have is the Tinted Hydrator. Now this is in the shade Medium Tan. Now I have super high expectations for this Tinted Hydrator. The reason is because whenever I step out of my house, it's either full makeup or no makeup. But I do want to find something which is like in between which works for my oily greasy skin. So hopefully this should be the in between and provided it works for my oily skin. But uh, yeah, for foundation shade reference, I am NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I am 310 Sun Beige. Now, if you have not all ready, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right in the video. Alright, so I have super zoomed you guys in and for the first product we are going to go for the Brow Cessive Brow Shaping Gel and like I mentioned before, they offer only one shade in India at the moment and this is priced at 499 rupees for 2.5 grams of product. So this is how the applicator looks like which actually reminds me of the Benefit one which I do own. So just give me a minute, let me just find it for you. The tiny one over here is the Benefit one and the bigger one is the Wet n Wild one which does look a bit similar. Uh, just that the benefit is much more precise and much more smaller compared to the wet and wild one But this is quite similar to the Nika one which I do own but I cannot find it and also to the essence one again I own all of these three products, but uh, yeah, I cannot find them in my messy vanity So in today's video, I'm going to be applying just this product alone I'm not going to be filling in my eyebrows and I really want to see how it works because I have a very fine thin and stubborn eyebrows it does not want to stay up for long so yeah i'm just gonna try this directly which is not that bad it has given a color and it has also made my eyebrow kind of up so we are going to see how long that actually stays as it is but this is with my eyebrow filled in just with this and this one has no product at all So yeah, this is how both my brows look like with just the gel alone. And now moving on to the Color Icon 10 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. Now they do come in four different new shades and I have picked out Call Me Sunshine. Now this is priced at 799 rupees and this is how the swatches look like. Okay, so I have prepped my eyelids by using just a concealer. I did not go with a loose powder because I'm going to go with this third brown mustardy kind of a shade over here all over my eyelids. So, yeah. With another clean blending brush, I'm going to go with this first shade right here and put it over and above this particular shade that I have at the moment just to blend both together. Now with a flat blending brush like this, I'm going to go with this dark brown shade and just concentrate it on the outer corner of my eyelids. And now I'm going to go with a clean blending brush and blend everything. And for the best part, I'm going to go with this beautiful gold eyeshadow first in the inner corners and halfway through my eyelids. I'm not going to cut my crease or anything. I'm going to make this eyeshadow look very simple. Now 
Now, uh, mind you, I'm using a, just a dry brush. It's not wet. I have not cut my crease with the concealer or anything, just on its own. And now I'm going to go with my finger just to intensify this gold eyeshadow. So I'm just going to quickly intensify the dark brown shade at the end of my eyelids and blend everything together. And now very, very lightly, I'm going to blend the outer corner and the gold and just marry them together. So I'll finish the rest of my eye makeup off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so I have added on my falsies, mascara, eyeliner and also my kajal but then I'm yet to smudge the kajal. For that, I'm going to use this dark brown shade underneath and smudge it along my lower waterline. So before we can start off with the tinted hydrator, I have already blotted my face and apart from that, there is nothing else like there's zero product on my face except for the moisturizer. So I have picked up the shade Medium Tan and uh, they do offer only four shades, which is right off the bat really disappointing because my shade Medium Tan, this is apparently the darkest shade that they offer in India right now, which is freaking disappointing. Because in US, they do offer more number of shades, but then in India that they have just recently launched, they have come out only with four shades. And this is the darkest shade that they offer. Why? 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 And it does come sealed like so. So for the texture, this is how the texture of the hydrator is. It's quite liquidy and uh, yeah we are going to apply this so i'm going to apply one side using a damp sponge this shade it's light now this gives a very sheer to a medium coverage So this is just one layer, the color is completely off, like even the darkest shade medium tan is not the right match for my skin tone but uh, yeah let me see if I can build it up because I can still see my pigmentation. So just one more layer. This This is how two layers look like now I can still see the pigmentation which is okay I'm just gonna leave it as it is and for this side I'm gonna go with a brush this is the worst color match I've ever had in a very long time like look at the difference I look like Casper and can you believe it this is the darkest shade that they offer in India right now I'm like why <laughs> Now, this gives a better coverage using a brush. So, if you're looking for more coverage, you can go with a brush. But if you want something very skin like, then you can go with a sponge. But I'm still not over how whitish I'm looking right now. This does not match my skin tone at all. Oh! <laughs> like. The only saving grace is that this does not feel like anything. It's not tacky, it's not heavy, it feels very light. But the amount of product that I had used to build it up, it still feels pretty light and uh, skin-like. Hey, so I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup off camera and I will be right back. And I will try and see if my contour can actually save this situation. So the time right now is 11.28 a.m. And uh, let's say around 11.15 is when I finished applying the foundation or the tinted uh, hydrator. And uh, I tried saving my makeup by using a bit of contour and the blush. And this is how it looks like overall. But I really do like the finish of this tinted hydrator. It looks really good. All the other products blended seamlessly with this on top. The shade range is a shame but apart from that I really do like it and I really hope it will work because if they do extend the shade range then I can pick up the next shade. But uh, yeah this is how it looks like overall. I will also show you guys how it looks in natural lighting. Before that I will just quickly add my inner corner highlight. So the inner corner highlight I'm going to take this shade right here which is like a champagne golden shade. I'm going to take it in a very small defined brush.
All right, so I will be back as soon as I'm oily or greasy and give my final thoughts. Hey guys, I'm back and I am super oily. So the time right now is close to 5.02 p.m. which is very very close to 6 hours mark and this is how my skin looks like. Now before zooming you guys in, just a quick checkup is that at around 2 hours mark I started getting a bit shiny, like glowy kind of a shine. But then after 3 hours is when I could see that it was getting a bit oily. And I was planning to film initially, but then since my makeup, I was not very happy with the foundation shade. So I ended up taking a nap. But this is how my face looks like right after a nap. So at the moment right now, I am super, super shiny. And uh, yeah, let me zoom you guys in and blot all this oil away. So two blotting sheets later, I have also touched up on my lipstick. And this is how the whole makeup looks like. It looks really fresh. So let's go over with the products and what I thought about them. And now the first product that we have is the Brow Sessive Brow Shaping Gel. Now in US, they do offer like a clear variation as well. This is brown and they also offer blonde. Blonde I don't think is useful in India, but brown is thank God helpful. And I wish they also came out with clear because I usually prefer clear brow gel. But otherwise, just without that taken into factor, this is actually a pretty good brow gel because even right now I can see that my brows are pretty much in place just the way how I said it earlier and uh, it looks pretty good as well and I do not fill up with anything else on my eyebrows just this alone. Now this is a great dupe of the Benefits Gimme Brow as well as the Nykaa's I think it's called Take Me Brow as well as the Essence. I forgot what it's called but yeah I actually own all three of them but at the moment I cannot find the Nykaa and the Essence one and I can only find is the uh, Benefit one. Now about the comparison with the other three brands when it comes to the formula now the only thing is that Essence I honestly genuinely do not remember it. It's been a very long time since I used the Essence one and I do not remember it. If I do then I will specify it in the description box below so you can check that out if in case I find it. Uh, but compared to the uh, Nykaa one, this one formula I feel is much more better to hold my stubborn eyebrows up in place. Like it's not like zhuzh up, you know, like but the way how I set it, that's the way how it is even at the moment. So I really do like that and I feel this performs a bit more better than the Nykaa one and it is a very very similar performance wise to the Benefit one. The Benefit also the formula is pretty much similar and uh, yum. Yeah. So I find this to be a great dupe of the Benefit. You can go for any of the other three which is the Nykaa or the Wet n Wild or the Essence one just depending upon their availability because a lot of these products are out of stock. Now moving on to the eyeshadow palette and now I have tried is only six shade out of the ten that they have and with all the six shades that I used I'm pretty much happy the way how the eye look turned out the only thing I was a bit disappointed was with this golden shade right here because I thought this is gonna be like a beautiful shade because it swatches really well on hand but when you apply it it's not that great this looks only good if you like want to use it like a topper like you can use like a matte base like a matte matte eyeshadow as a base and use this on top of it then I think it should be fine but otherwise on its own it's not as spectacular as I thought it would be. The only other shade that I'm really looking forward to try are these two. Now they do look great in the pan but yeah I cannot wait to try these other two shades out. So for me overall I do like the eyeshadow palette. I do see myself reaching out to try this out more and more later on because this is the kind of color story that I lean towards and I like. So yeah, I do like this eyeshadow palette. And now moving on to the tinted hydrator. Now straight right off the bat, I mentioned before, I cannot stop ranting and being angry over this is the shade range because it is so freaking disappointing. And this shade, which is medium tan, which is even lighter for my skin, that is the darkest shade that they offer. I genuinely hope that they are gonna launch with more shades because this is really, up in my personal opinion now if i keep talking about this shade range i'm gonna keep ranting and getting pissed off about it but moving on to the formula now this is the kind of product that if you have dry skin or normal skin you are going to love it i am sure you're gonna love it but then if you have oily skin then you will have to like blot your face every two to three hours now it does apply really well it's a very buildable kind of a coverage so it goes on like a sheer coverage and you can build it up to a medium coverage and even after layering so much it did not feel heavy on my skin it not like 
pull it down or anything of that sort it still felt very light and comfortable on my skin now this has a very liquidy kind of a consistency and if you need more coverage then i would suggest using like a brush to apply it rather than a sponge because the damp sponge will kind of shear it down a bit and this sets into a very nice soft matte kind of a finish which i genuinely really like it a lot like even right now even after blotting all the oil away my makeup actually does look fresh if i still go out right now people will think i just applied the makeup it looks still pretty good oh and i almost forgot that this blends seamlessly with other products because i went ham with the contour and blush just to make this shade kind of work for me so even with all of that blending it's still blended seamlessly even after my skin became oily like i do not see the foundation becoming all weird or separating because that sometimes just happen like there is one very high end foundation where after the oil kind of comes through it starts becoming like very weird it starts separating it becomes all gunky at the corner of my nose but this one did not do any of that so that is surprisingly great so for my final thoughts the brow so brow gel great it is awesome i would recommend to buy this The second product is the eyeshadow palette. You guys know I was already biased about it. I love the color palette, and again, that I would recommend it. Now, coming to the tinted hydrator. Now, if you have dry skin, normal skin, I would highly recommend using this one. It is amazing. You will freaking love it. I am for sure about it because this is like a great everyday as well as you can use it to like glam up. It doesn't feel heavy. It's very light. It blends seamlessly. It gives a beautiful finish as well. Now, coming to oily skin, you may have to use like an oil controlling primer beforehand, and then using this, then it will be. a okay for you otherwise you will have to blot your face every 2 to 3 hours and uh, even then even after blotting it looks pretty damn good so i really like that now if i have to rate it out of 5 i think i'll give it only 4 because i will take off one point for the terrible shade range so yeah guys these were my thoughts on some of the newly launched wet and wild products and this wrap up today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did Do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to which one of I whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or request I will try my best for you as well as follow me on my socials which is Ishana on Instagram and Ishana on Twitter as well so until the next time take care bye